Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today for another tutorial on Go Ed Tech Go. Today's tutorial is on power school and seating charts. I'm going to show you how to create a new seating chart, how to use a pre-existing seating chart if you had one from a previous year, and combining classes and making a seating chart your default. So if you have uh, TAs in a class, instead of clicking on them to take role, they will be included in your seating chart. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new seating chart. So in order to do that, we're going to make sure that we are signed in to the PowerSchool teacher. Hit sign in. And we are going to find this icon here, the third one from the right. It says seating chart. You're going to click there and it is going to take you to a screen that looks like this. You are going to choose cancel. And up here on the tabs, you're going to see seating chart. You're going to hit seating chart. And I think the easiest way to do this if you have rows is you're going to hit rows. And I want to say I have eight rows of eight. Okay. Now I know that's a lot, but I did that on purpose. So if I want to take out rows, I can come in here and select these and just remove a row. So now we're looking at, instead of, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so it's easier. So instead of going through and adding all of these individually, I would rather just remove these. And now I have my rows set up, right? So I can go through and get rid of all of these. Remove. Sorry, I don't have a mouse that's working, so do it on my trackpad and there are my rows okay now I can do tables somewhere if I want I can add a table I can add a chair um, I can change whatever format I want but this is an easy tutorial on how to do rows you can individually add a chair if you want you saw that there was one there so if you had pods where you wanted to add another chair and put it over here right you can also um, add some text if you would like so if I wanted to take this little text box here and move it here and label it, I don't know, I use colors as groups, you could do that as well. Now I want to make sure that I save this. So I'm going to hit save, okay, and that you can see here is under my layouts. So I can go into here and I can edit this new layout to be room. 118 if I wanted to and I can save this as new it's easy to do and it's I would recommend that you do that because you want to come back to it and be able to find it so now that I have this one created I don't want to create one for every single one of my classes so what I'm gonna do is I can come down to period 2 hit cancel and now what I want to do is go to seating chart and I want to go to new layout and I want to start from a pre-existing layout. Now, I already created one this year, but if I had one from last year as well, I could do that. I can find it. So let's see uh, semester one in here. You can see that I have some that were already created. So I'm going to hit, you can see that this one is highlighted and I can press view. If I want to see what that looks like, there it is, the one that I just created. Or if I want to choose one from the year before or a couple years before, I have one that I created already. I can choose view, see if it's the one that I like. Good thing I did, that's the one I don't want. I can go to here, hit view, and here is my seating chart for my classroom. Finish, right? So you can see that I have them all in pods. I have them in color groups. So this is what I use in groups of four. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so you can see that. And over here you can see that I have a TA spot. Now I want to be able to combine my classes. Okay, a couple things that I, I want to do prior to doing that. I want to make sure that I'm making this my default layout. All right. Now I did that because if I come back, I've done this many times, I come back and it's gone. And I think that I didn't save it. But in fact I did. I just forgot to make this seating chart the default for this class. 
Now I want to be able to combine my classes. I don't want to have to take role with for my TAs and my students in the same period, in period one, even though they're in the same period, they're in different sections, so they won't show up on here. So what I want to do is I want to combine them to make sure that I can take role for those TAs and students at the same time. I don't have to keep clip, clicking back and forth. So I'm going to go to edit. And the first thing on this one, you can see I changed the period one because I didn't have any TAs in period two. I want to make sure I make it my default. And then down here, you're going to see that it says combine. I'm going to combine this period one with my lab assistants for period one. And I hit OK. And now those students have been brought in. And you can see them on the side over here. Now, what I need to do is if I want to make this seating chart and just finish it up. Now, I want to make sure I'm, my, I'm on my seating chart design. And now I want to take these students and just I want to put them into seats that are already set out. So if I take a student and I grab them and hold down, I can just pop those students directly into the seats that I want them to go into. Now if I have issues and I want, oh, I don't want them there, I hit the X and away they go and back into the pool of students. You gotta remember to save so that it's gonna be there when you get back. Again, this is how you combine, create, and set up your gradebook in PowerSchool. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe by hitting the little icon in the right hand corner. We got lots of tutorials on PowerSchool, on Canvas, on Google, um, and uh, we will continue to put them out as need be. Thanks for joining us today on Go EdTech Go, and have a good day.